So, uh, Dan, you've just finished your first British Touring Car race. It looked like it was going pretty well. You were up to third, and then the uh, second half of the race, it looked like the car yeah. just kind of went away from you. Yeah, you know, I did a good job, I thought. Um, got a good start, and to say that's my first ever touring car start, first ever front-wheel drive start, it wasn't so bad. Um, moved forward, I did a good job to get up the inside of Andrew Jordan, who gave me a nice amount of, a good amount of room, which was nice of him. Uh, obviously, safety car, and that, that took a few laps, and then I thought, okay, we're in the race, let's see what we can do, and quite quickly realised I just didn't quite have the car to do the job, um, to keep pace with, with what I needed, so basically I just thought, right, what can I do? I'll just have to do the best job I can. I know I'm going to go backwards, but I'll just have to do, try and limit how far back I go, really. So I didn't, you know, when Andrew passed me and um, Ingram, it was just a matter of don't fight, you know, let them go and maybe they can just drag me along that bit faster and then it'll take a bit longer for the next guy to, to sort of catch me and uh, that's how it kind of played out in the end. Um, I tried every which way of getting more performance, but unfortunately um, what I had is what I had and, you know, it's a brand new car, you know, it's, 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 we showed some great performance in, in qualifying, you know, in the dry and we've had some good pace in the wet in testing, but I think we're just a little bit away from where we need to be to hit that sweet spot today, this morning. But um, the guys have worked on it, I'm going to do my bit, I'm not saying it's going to be better or worse, but I, hopefully we can start to move it back forward and um, points make prizes and I'm on, I'm on the board, so happy days. Now, uh, race two is uh, we also get something new uh, in touring cars, and that's a bit of ballast mm -hmm. as the uh, ballast now comes into effect. You don't yeah. have much as you finish P7, so the guys ahead of you will be a lot heavier. Uh, so that's something I guess you'll be uh, yeah. looking to I use mean, to your I've, advantage. I've done, uh, you know, we do the majority of our testing with, with all the weight, so I, I, I know I know about the car with ballast and I know what it's capable of. And and yeah, you know, they've they've got quite a bit on now, and me not so much. So will that? This is touring car racing, and this is what I've got to learn. You know, does that make up for my handling imbalance, the extra weight they've got? It does, is that going to bring the parity back? Does that give me more of a chance? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine on that one. I'll tell you after the second race. So, um, but no, I'm confident that um, that we'll, we'll we'll move forward. And uh, finally, looking ahead to uh, that race two, starting P7, I guess you'll be aiming for top five as a minimum. Uh, P8, I am. But top five sounds like a plan. Um, all I could do is the best job possible. Keep it on the tarmac try and move forward. If the performance in the car, then let's see how far we can go. If not, then again, it'll be damage limitation. Keep racking up the points and, um, you know, let's get away from Brands Hatch with, um, you know, with a, with a nice healthy car and we'll, we'll fight back at Donington. Okay, thanks for your time, Dan. Very good for us too. Thank you. Cheers, guys.